back again with another director series video talking about my top four favorite movie directors and this is number two and as you can see this is going to be David Cronenberg. I think that the main reason that I even know about David Cronenberg is because of David Lynch. So after I watched Eraserhead and I became a huge David Lynch fan I got on internet websites and forums and message boards and I said what are some other directors like David Lynch I gotta see more weird crazy stuff like this and of course David Cronenberg was right there so let's talk about first one of his most popular movies and that is Videodrome and I own the Criterion collection of this and I've already seen this but I haven't opened the Criterion yet I think it's cool how it's like a VHS tape it says Videodrome and um, Anyway, I'm going to read the back of this, what it says for the plot. When Max Wren goes looking for edgy news shows for his sleazy cable TV station, he stumbles across the pirate broadcast of a hyper-violent torture show called Videodrome. His attempts to unearth the program's origins send him on a hallucinatory journey into a shadow world of right-wing conspiracies, sadomasochistic sex games and bodily transformation starring James Wood and Deborah Harry Videodrome is one of the most original and provocative works from writer director David Cronenberg and features groundbreaking makeup effects by Academy Award winner Rick Baker and so on the cover here as you can see one of the scenes of the movie is uh, this so he, he discovers this pirated broadcast of sex and violence and it not only affects your mind but it like affects your body as well and he's watching this show on TV and there's a woman on there talking to him saying like come closer to me and, it, and so it like zooms in on her lips and you start to see her lips like protrude like from the TV like what in the world and he gets close to her and he like sticks his head into the TV and so there's a lot of weird imagery like that. There's a part where there's like a hole in his chest and he puts his hand in there and he pulls out a gun. It ends up turning into this crazy cult stuff in the movie and it's just totally bizarre and out there. And um, But it's definitely one to remember. This is kind of like David Cronenberg's Eraserhead. And so I definitely recommend seeing that. Another one that might be even crazier that I really love, and this is another Criterion Collection, this is Naked Lunch and um, this is based on a movie written by William S. Burroughs which I don't really know much about him but apparently the book was banned in certain areas because um, it was so crazy and it's just a, a, an incoherent writing <laughs> just ramblings and David Cronenberg made it into a movie it starts off with this guy who's like a, an exterminator, a bug sprayer and this powder that he sprays to kill the bugs, people are like snorting it and getting high off of it. And he has like a girlfriend and she's cheating on him and he, he accidentally kills the guy that she's cheating on him with or something like that. Or kills him on accident or on purpose, I don't remember. But he ends up like going to the police station or something and there's a typewriter there. The typewriter like turns into a bug and starts talking to him, t telling him that this is all a conspiracy. And the movie just gets so bizarre. I love it. It is like long and exhausting, but it's an experience. This is kind of like the Inland Empire for David Cronenberg. And, um, you know, there's a <laughs> dialogue in the end of the movie that's like talking about a man who had a butthole that could talk or something, and he started feeding the butthole, and then, like, the butthole ended up eating the person himself. Really bizarre. <laughs> it's like, what in the world is even going on? Anyway. Now, one of my favorite movies of all time, and probably the first movie that I've seen by David Cronenberg without even knowing, was The Fly. And I guess this movie's a remake. I don't really... I haven't seen the original. I don't really exactly care to. I haven't seen the sequel. I don't really exactly care to. But this version of The Fly, David Cronenberg with Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis. I love this movie. I usually say this is like my second favorite movie of all time. My first, Sling Blade, really erased her head, but I don't really mention that. <laughs> but... I do mention this because I think a lot of people have seen it. I think a lot of people can enjoy it. To me, it's the perfect blend of horror, sci-fi, and even romance. There's so much there. There's the quotes, be afraid, be very afraid. There's a lot of memorable scenes, um, especially when I was young and I seen it, and I remember the scene where he's transforming and his fingernails start to peel off, and there's like all that pus and stuff. It's like, oh, like, 
I used to chew my fingernails really bad. I still do. But I used to chew them until, like, pus would come out and stuff. It was really bad. My parents used to put, like, this bitter nail polish stuff on there to try to prevent me. But but then I would see that, and I was like, oh, man. It just, that, that, it's a different kind of horror. And the puppetry and stuff, like, when he goes into the full-blown brundle fly is just amazing. It's, like, the greatest of all time. The scenes, like, where he has the super strength and he snaps the guy's arm and arm wrestling and, like, you see his bone snap. And, like, when he's punching the doorway and just, like, obliterating the, <laughs> the wood and stuff, like, it's just so awesome. Like, it's just a perfect blend of everything. I love that movie. Now, I have a few other movies by David Cronenberg. I don't own them all, but I recently purchased these, and that's Scanners, and that's the Criterion Collection, Dead Ringers, it's a collector's edition, Blu-ray, and the Brood Criterion. I've seen all of these. I don't know if I've seen Scanners all the way through. I know I rented or had it, but i do not not sure I really gave it a full watch. But I know it's about people that can read each other's minds or some, something like that. It's got the famous head explosion scenes. Dead Ringers, I remember really liking that, but I don't remember a lot about it, except for there's like twin brothers, and maybe they're bonded mentally or psychologically or something, and maybe they try to separate themselves. They're like surgeons, and there's like weird surgeon tools. There's a lot of surrealism in this one. It's really creepy. The Brood, I don't remember a lot about either. I know I've seen it. I know there's like a big reveal at the end. These kids are like aliens or something that are being bred. They're like murderous. I don't know. I remember it being really bloody, uh, but like a good horror movie, but also very surreal. I need to rewatch these. David Lint or David Cronenberg, and they even have the same first name, which is pretty amazing. Uh, he's also an American director, as far as I know. I guess Cronenberg. Um, he has a lot more movies that I don't have that I need to see, but to me, from what I've seen and stuff, these are some of actually his main big ones, but. Um, there are other others that I need to check out. So, Anyway, I'm going to try to make this short. That's going to be it. David Cronenberg, I love him. Just like David Lynch, uh, very unique and different. So if you haven't seen any of those movies, check them out. God bless. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.